Welcome to the Brass and Woodwind Shop. I have a clarinet in my shop and it has two cracks, one on the front and one on the back. This is not an easy job to do, so if you decide to try it, you should practice before you do it. And practice on a junk instrument that you don't need to worry about destroying. This is called pinning wire and it is a small threaded rod that you use to repair the cracks on clarinets. On here I wrote the number of the drill bit you use, number 54, and that is the drill bit you use to drill the holes in the clarinet. I have removed the keys from the clarinet that need to be taken off before I can repair it. I've also removed the register tube because the crack goes through the register tone hole. After you have removed the keys, you need to see where the crack is. You need to know what you're working with. It's hard to see on the video, but the crack starts here, and then it goes through the name on the clarinet, and then it ends at the tone hole. And it's fairly common to have cracks end at tone holes because that's where the pressure is relieved. And on the other side, there is a crack that starts up here, goes through the register tone hole, and then it goes down to there and stops. The next thing to do is to figure out where to put the pins. And on a crack like this, you'll probably need two pins. I'm going to put one from here to here, and another one from here to here. On the other side, the crack is longer, and I'll probably use three pins on that. I'm going to put one at the top, and then I want to avoid the name of the clarinet, and I also want to avoid the tone holes. So I'm going to put one from here, go underneath the name, and then I'm going to put one over here, right above where the crack ends. When you're pinning, you want to avoid tone holes, and also posts. This post I have removed so that I can get in there better to repair it. And you especially want to avoid drilling into the bore of the clarinet. The pinning wire is thin and the wood is fairly thick, so you do have some space to work with without going into the bore of the instrument. Here's a cross section of the clarinet, and this is where the crack is. And you want the pinning wire to go like that. You want it to avoid the inside of the clarinet, the bore, and you also want it to go just through one side. You do not want it to go all the way through to the other side. I put the number 54 drill bit in the bench motor, and you need a bench motor to do this job. A drill will not work for this. Now I'm going to take a poker and open up the crack just a little bit, and the reason I'm doing that is to allow the super glue to go in there better, and it makes for a better bond. The method for drilling a hole is to start about 3 8 of an inch or 1 millimeter from where the crack is and you drill in straight and once you go in just a little bit you rotate the clarinet and then you drill like that into the clarinet. That way you will not go into the bore of the instrument. And if you go through the clarinet all the way then you have to fill in two holes which you can do but it's easier just to fill in the one and it looks better so it is best to stop short of the other side of the clarinet. The way you know where the end of the clarinet is, is because if the crack is straight up, then there's equal distance from the hole to the crack, and then from the crack to the other side of the clarinet. So if you know how far it is, and then you stop short of double the distance, you will stop short of the other side of the clarinet. You do not always need to drill straight. You can drill at a diagonal if you need to get around tone holes. Now it's time to drill. I'm going to start about 3 eighths of an inch or 1 centimeter from the crack. And once I go in a little bit, I'm going to turn it so that the crack is pointing up. And you need to stop it occasionally and pull off the the sawdust that is on the drill bit. As you're drilling to see how far you've gone, you can take a poker and put it in there and mark it with your finger and you can see that I've made it about up to the crack. Now I have to go a little less than that amount of distance, so I'm going to continue drilling. Check it again. Okay. And I just looked into the bore of the clarinet and I have not gone into the bore, so that's a good thing. I drilled the three holes on this side and one on this side. I have one more to go. 
drilling straight, then turn it. Clean off the drill bit. And then measure it. And clean off the drill bit again. You need to clean the drill bit off probably three or four times, maybe more when you're in the, in the process of doing this. Okay, that's good. So all the holes are ready and now we're ready to put the pins in the clarinet. Take the pinning wire and put it in the bench motor. And first of all, you need to file a point on the end of the rod. Now it's time to put the pins in the clarinet, but there's one more thing to do first. When you put the pins in, it can cause stress on the crack and it can open more. So what you do to stop that is put a protector on there and then put a hose clamp over that and tighten that up and you should be right next to where you're going to pin it and then after you're done with that one you move it so that it's right next to the other one and on down the line. I need to measure how long the pinning wire needs to be. Take the poker and put it into the hole that you drilled. Mark it with your finger and then line it up to the pinning wire and you want it to be a little bit shorter than the hole. So mark it and then cut a little bit. You do not want to cut all the way. Just cut a notch. You just need to make a little notch and the reason for that is you want it to break off at that point. You do not want to cut through too far or it will break off before you get it all the way into the instrument. Then take the torch and heat this up until it turns blue. And that takes a few seconds. And once it does, it is ready to go in. But you need to hurry up because you don't want it to get cold. So you put it in and you run it in by hand until you get up to the end of where the notch is. This broke off a little too early. You can see a little bit of pinning wire that has not made it into the instrument. And you would rather have it going all the way. That makes the repair a lot easier. But if this happens, you can just file it down and then fill it in. I moved the hose clamp down to the next hole and I measured the wire and I put the notch in it. Now it's time to heat it up and then uh, put it into the instrument. There it is. Okay, here it goes. Hopefully it works this time. Okay. There, that's good. So now I'm going to break it off. If everything works out right, it should break where the notch has been made. And that will be slightly inside the instrument. Okay, you have to be careful when you do this. There we go. And see that one is a little bit better it's inside the instrument. If there's any metal sticking up beyond the surface of the instrument, that needs to be ground down too. And I'm going to be very careful and get as little of the wood as I can and get mostly the pin. The next thing to do is to fill in the cracks and the holes with super glue. But before I put in the super glue, I'm going to use some Grenadilla wood chips. And that's with the kind of wood that the clarinet is made out of. I got these wood chips at the Selmer factory when I went on a tour there. But you can buy these from Faris Tools. Take some of the wood chips and put a thin layer in the crack or right on top of the crack. Also avoid any writing that is on the clarinet. Now I'm going to put some super glue on there. And the super glue should flow into the cracks. So just put a little thin layer on there. You do not want a lot. Everything you put on there that does not go into the crack will need to be filed down. And it makes it a lot easier if there's not too much on there. Hmm. 
You can take a rag and take off the excess glue. Just blot it. Do not wipe it. Now it's time to fill in the holes. Some of those did not come out as good as I had hoped, so I will have a little more filling to do, but when the job is done, they should be good. Take some more wood chips and fill in the holes. Now put the super glue on the holes and you do it pretty much the same way you do the crack. Take off the excess super glue with a rag. If the crack goes through a tone hole, put a very small amount of wood chips on there and then a little bit of super glue. And make sure you do not get too much because then it's hard to clean up. All the cracks and all the holes have been filled in and now it's time to file down the super glue. You want to file down all the super glue and the wood chips but you do not want to file the wood on the clarinet. So you carefully file down until you get down to the wood and then you stop filing in that area and move on to the next area. I filed off this section and now I'm going to do this. The file will fill up quickly with shavings so clean it off often. I'm done filing off the super glue and you can tell it's a little dull where I worked on it so there's a way to take care of that and I'll show you that in a minute. Check your work, see if there are any places that you need to refill with the super glue and the wood chips and I do have a few that need that. I'm done touching up the holes, now I'm going to take some steel wool and rub it on the areas that I worked on and rub it with the grain and do that for a few minutes. And be careful not to get the tone holes, just the surface of the body. And now the other side, and be careful of the writing also. Now I take some key oil and put it, rub it on the instrument where I did the work. And rub it right into the wood. And I'm going to leave that there for a few minutes, and then I'm going to wipe it off. It's been a few minutes, now I'm going to wipe the oil off. And when it comes off, the clarinet should be done. The crack is finished. All that's left is I have to put on the keys and the posts. Thank you for watching and please subscribe for more band instrument repair videos. Also look in the description below for where you can find parts to do this repair. If you do try this repair, make sure you practice on a junk wood clarinet before you attempt to work on your clarinet.